What's going on, YouTube? I'm getting ready to set up and recycle this tank again, and I see these micro bubbles. Deadly to discus. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead, touch on this, and tell you why. Stay with me, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. This is something for my people. Deeper and deeper, I keep digging. YouTube, what's going on, guys? Scuba Steve. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of good videos and I'm going to be doing a lot of good updates. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Talking about these things right here micro bubbles, okay? These right here are small pockets of nitrogen gas and these things kill discus quick if not it really stresses them out okay so with uh with a micro bubble what it does is 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 it sticks to anything and with discus especially it will stick onto their slime coat and what it'll do is it'll start peeling off the slime coat and you'll start seeing little threads of white stuff coming off of your discus and it, a slime coat with a discus is absolutely critical and crucial to their health okay every tank I don't care who has what I don't care where you've got your fish from every tank has got parasites when a discus starts to lose his slime coat you're gonna end up with some real serious problems they can get sick and be susceptible to diseases bacterial infections and or parasites very very quickly okay so that's the that's the biggest problem right there is the loss of the slime coat. There's I've I've heard other discus keepers talk about you know the the micro bubbles sticking to their gills and causing them to freak out and start scratching and rubbing, which leaves the uh, the newer hobbyist to think that maybe that they have some sort of gill fluke or something like that when they actually don't. Of course, and you start trying to treat for uh, 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 a parasite that they actually don't have. Um, what is this caused by? This is caused by mostly by people using pythons or Aquion water changers and you know you think you're doing the right thing by uh, going ahead and doing these nice big water changes directly out of the sink with your python and dumping some prime in there and then everything is great. Uh, really, you know, that's really, I, I did that with this one because there's nothing in there. Um, I'm starting to cycle this tank today. So there's two solutions to the problem, okay? And the first solution is, which most discus keepers will tell you is the right thing to do is to age your water, okay? Aging your water has its benefits because, number one, it gasses off, so there's no chance of a pH swing. Your pH uh, stays steady and it stays stable, and you can also bring it up to temperature, um, you know, and it's not so cold coming out. Uh, so that's one, uh, 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 and probably the preferred way. But let's face it, in today's world, a lot of us don't have the, the space to be able to do that and age our water, okay? So the second solution is to okay. take second solution is to take get some of this filter pad stuff from your local fish store cut it up and then take it and put it as tight as you can and shove it inside of the uh, stem of your your nozzle that you're going to put it back in there and what that does is it all of the the micro bubbles when they have to try to fight their way through it they end up splitting okay they end up popping and they don't end up making it past the past the filter so take it wind it up as tight as you absolutely can and then put it inside of the nozzle and that right there will allow you to still use your Aquion or your Python uh, water changing system and control your temperature by using it out of the sink of course you can uh, you know you can also go ahead and keep using your prime guys comments or questions please put them below and uh, we can talk about this. Guys, thanks for watching. Next time you see this tank, it's going to be full of stanker discus again. I'm on the rebound, guys. Scuba Steve, Oklahoma baby. Sooner Nation, you know what time it is. I'm out.